Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me again. I'm hosting a dinner party here next week, so today we are going to deep clean the dining room. But first, we are going to make some blueberry muffins. The muffins can be our sweet reward for the cleaning job. I'm using the blueberry muffin recipe from King Arthur today, and I may tweak the recipe just a tad. And the first thing we need to do is to preheat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius. To line the muffin tin with these paper liners. The recipe says to grease the liners, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm using avocado spray. Let's see. I need to measure out two and a quarter cups or 270 grams of all-purpose flour. I'm going to weigh this out. I find that I always get the best product when I weigh my ingredients. To the flour, I need to add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and a half teaspoon of baking soda, plus a half teaspoon of regular table salt, and then whisk. And we can set this aside. Then on to the wet ingredients. And I will be using my stand mixer to mix everything together. But you could also use handheld electric beaters. A quarter cup or 50 grams of vegetable oil. Actually, this is coconut oil. And three-fourths cup or 150 grams of regular granulated sugar. I'm going to mix these at low speed and then gradually increase the speed to high until the mixture turns fairly frothy. Now I need to beat in two large eggs, one at a time. Scrape down the bowl. The recipe calls for two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract next. However, this is where I want to have a little fun with the recipe. Instead of using vanilla, I'm going to use one teaspoon, or rather a half teaspoon of lavender paste and one teaspoon of lemon extract. The scent is wonderful. Now I'm going to beat in a half cup or 113 grams of sour cream. The recipe says that you can use yogurt here. These ingredients are well incorporated now so we can add the dry ingredients a little at a time, mixing at low speed. recipe said that the mixture will be quite thick, almost like cookie dough. And it is indeed quite thick. So our next step is to fold in the blueberries. And I have to fetch mine from the freezer. So I need one and a half cups or 213 grams of blueberries. You can use fresh blueberries here.
reviews that I read for this recipe said to be sure to use the blueberries while they are still frozen. In other words, do not thaw them first. Well, I think those blueberries are folded in. So let me fetch my muffin tin. Fill the muffin tins with a heaping quarter cup of this very stiff dough. Well, this seems infinitely easier to use rather than my quarter cup measure. According to King Arthur, this batter can be kept in the refrigerator for up to a week, which will allow you to just make one or two or three muffins at a time as you need them. But I'm going to bake mine off right now for 18 to 24 minutes. These muffins look fabulous. I'm going to quickly top them with some demerara sugar. I really should have added the sugar before I put the muffins in the oven, but I did not. Now the recipe says to almost immediately transfer the muffins to a cooling rack. And to do that, they said to turn the pan at a 45 degree angle. We'll see how this works. It works. Apparently, if you leave the muffins in the tin for any length of time, the muffins can turn tough. Surprisingly, most of the demerara sugar is sticking. Today is my lucky day. I'm going to let these cool. In the meantime, we can tackle the dining room. To start this deep clean, I first remove all of the chairs from the dining room and place them in the music room. The dining table came from a local antique shop. It has three leaves that permit seating for 12 people. The 12 chairs came from an auction house in New Orleans. Next, I'm removing all of the decorative items from tabletops in the room. We might actually make a flower arrangement in this terrain later today. To make the exposed wood flooring possible to clean, I am moving the side tables off the wood and onto the carpet. When I clean, I always work from top to bottom. Here I am using a microfiber dust mop to clean the ceiling and the walls. paint color on the upper walls in this room is Mulberry by Benjamin Moore. Mulberry has a lot of blue in it. Now I am dusting the side tables and dining table from top to bottom. While dusting, I notice that this inlaid games table has several scratch marks. I will attempt to restore the table in a future video.
dusting with a dry microfiber cloth allows me to appreciate the details in wood furnishings. Two pedestals beneath the dining table are particularly decorative. I love the ball and cloth feet. The dining room fireplace is surrounded with black Egyptian marble. The marble shows very little wear even though it has been in this house for the past 200 years. Now it's time to thoroughly dust the dining chairs and the decorative pieces that I had earlier moved to another room. To clean the painted doors, chair rails, and baseboards, I am using only water and a tiny amount of Murphy's Oil Soap. This cleaning solution does wonders for the painted wood. While working, I noticed that the wainscoting could use a fresh coat of paint, but that is a job for another day. To polish the dining table, I rub it with mineral oil applied to a pad of super fine steel wool. Oil gives the table a lovely sheen. Then I apply paste wax to the top of my drum table. After the wax sits for 10 minutes, I buff the table to a brilliant shine. The 19th century mirrors in the room receive a thorough cleaning as well. I realize that the ancient floor in this room could use a refinish, but that is a future job. Today, I will simply vacuum and mop the wood.
Now we can return the side tables to their chosen positions before vacuuming the carpet in the room. Love the maneuverability of this shark vacuum. And finally, we can put this room back together again. I will not pretend that this was an easy job, but the dining room is clean and it is crying out for flowers. So let's run to the flower store and then we can create an arrangement right here in this soup terrine. Home again, I am gathering sprigs of boxwood from my garden. This free greenery will complement the store-bought flowers in our arrangement. I think we have an arrangement. Let's bring this into the dining room. Let me clean this up and then we can build a fire, brew some tea and tuck into our blueberry muffins.
time for our tea time treat. I think because these muffins are so highly perfumed, I'm going to serve them with a highly perfumed Earl Grey tea. This is the tea that I buy from Tierra Farm. It is the most fragrant of all the Earl Grey teas I have ever encountered. And here is my blueberry muffin, which I will enjoy with some of the really good Amish butter that you and I purchased at the general store a few weeks ago. Scratch that. I worked really hard today. With your help, I'm going to have two muffins. Into the dining room. This muffin is moist and fragrant, but it is not too sweet. I think it knocks it out of the park. Mm. I do think the muffins would be perfectly wonderful if you only use vanilla extract, but with the lemon extract and that lavender paste, it just well, it just brings the muffins to a whole different level. I will post a link to the recipe for these muffins in the description below. I really hope you will give them a try someday. And thank you so much for hanging out with me today as we made these muffins and we spent multiple hours cleaning this dining room. I have to tell you, it feels so good to have this room company ready. And of course, we have some fresh flowers to boot. I can put a couple of my other videos at the end of this video that you can enjoy between now and my next upload. In the meantime, please treat yourself well, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.